right, so now we're actually down below the church uh, here at St. Peter Gallicantu in what is very likely an ancient prison. You can see where there would have been maybe cells back behind me to my left. And in the ceiling and in the walls are loopholes where chains or ropes could have been anchored to tie up prisoners or men to, to if they were staying here or if they were being even flogged or beaten. And so you can kind of see why people think this was a prison. And while they think Jesus was held just next door, this is pretty typical. All right, so now we're, we're underneath the main church level. And you can tell by looking behind me that we're at what was the ground level or the bedrock level in ancient times, okay? So when they built the church here, they wanted to preserve that. And they built everything sort of suspended on these piers that you see around me. So this is the ancient ground level. And if you look just below me, in front of me, what you'll see is the ancient pit. A lot of times in the ancient and medieval world, prisons were pits or holes because it's a pretty easy way to do construction. You just dig a hole and you throw the guys that you're understanding down in a hole and you haul them up with the rope when you want to get them out. And because of a reference in the Psalms regarding the Messiah being cast down into a pit, then a lot of people think that that's where Jesus was held after he was tried by the Sanhedrin. And he was being held overnight awaiting his visit to Pontius Pilate that maybe he was tossed into a pit of prison like what we see here. And just down below me, what you see is that in the lip of the hole, there are three crosses carved. And those crosses were carved, you know, in ancient times, probably Byzantine times, maybe three, 400 AD. And that gives us a clue that ancient people revered or noticed the site, which sort of lends credibility to why some people believe this is where the Sanhedrin met, where the house of Caiaphas was, and uh, where Jesus would have been tried. And down below, you'll see the actual prison. All right, so now we're actually in the cave. This is where a lot of people believe that Jesus was imprisoned overnight. If, I mean, it's a pit. If you look up above, you can see the hole where a prisoner would have been lowered down into. Now, we do know historically that at some point the floor was lowered at the time of Christ. It would have been about out here, maybe a little bit higher. Nevertheless, it would have been way too deep to climb out of. And they would have lowered a prisoner, left him overnight, and then lowered a rope to pull him out in the morning. So many people would have introduced with him. This video is brought to you by Jerusalem School Bethlehem Media Team. Here at JSB, we provide a Christ-centered education to the community of Bethlehem. If you'd like to know about us more, please follow our social media or visit our website. Stay tuned for our next episode of This is the Holy Land.